Rich Picks Daily is an online community for traders to exchange smart, straightforward, and profitable investment ideas. And join us today at richpicksdaily.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube to learn useful stock trading secrets and discover the next 10 bagger. Hey guys, how you doing? This is Rich from Rich TV Live. And I wanted to speak to you about pharmather.com. This is their website, a clinical stage psychedelics biotech company, which are brought to you guys first. And it is absolutely on fire. I'm not going to go through everything right now on the website, but please put them on your watch list, put them on your radar. They're absolutely on fire. Their website is pharmathere.com. And we're going to take a look at the stock right now. So today they've been as high as 64 cents. Currently right now it's 60, up 20%. This has been an absolute rocket. It is now up over a thousand percent. That's right. Over a thousand percent since November, 2020. So about a thousand percent in about six months, absolute rocket ship. P-H-R-M is the symbol in Canada. In the US, the symbol is P-H-R-R-F. And you can see I've been tracking this. I've been bringing you guys the news. I brought you this pick first. And you can see they've been absolute rocket as well in the United States, trending up with massive momentum. Now let's talk about why. So on, I've been bringing you all the news. I've been interviewing the CEO. A lot of good things are happening. This is another psychedelic stock. And on June 1st, they had news, Pharmather and TSRL enter into co-development agreement for microneedle patch delivery technology for psychedelics and antivirals. That started the momentum, okay? And, and some other news before that. And then this came out today and it's been rocking. Pharmather provides research and development update and milestones for 2021. So let's go through it. Pharmather Holdings Limited, like I told you guys, PHRM in Canada, PHRRF in America, a clinical stage psychedelics biotech company, is pleased to provide an update on the research and development initiatives of its psychedelic product programs and upcoming milestones for 2021. We are well positioned both financially and operationally to execute on our remaining milestones for 2021, which includes completing a phase two study with ketamine to treat Parkinson's disease game changer. A phase two study with ketabet for treatment, resistant depression, and the development of our novel microneedle patches for delivering psychedelics such as ketamine, psilocybin, DMT, MDMA, and LSD, said Fabio Cianelli, CEO of Pharmather. The recent FDA acceptance of our IND to proceed to a phase two study in Parkinson's disease will pave the way for us to confidently submit future INDs and advanced clinical studies, evaluating novel uses, formulations, and delivery forms of psychedelics to treat various mental health, neurological, and pain disorders. Now, this was what really started rocking the stock, a FDA phase two clinical study for the rest of 2021, Pharmather will focus on advancing three promising developments through clinical studies. Ketamine for Parkinson's disease. This is a huge game changer. Following the FDA acceptance of the company's investigational new drug application to proceed with a phase two clinical trial to evaluate the safety, efficacy, and pharma, pharmacokinetics of ketamine in the treatment of levodopa induced dyskensia in patients and Parkinson's disease. The company has begun clinical trial startup activities to begin enrolling patients in Q3 2021 and to announce clinical results in Q4 2021. For those interested in the study, clinicaltrials.gov identifier NCT 0491215 titled a multi-center phase two randomized double-blind prospective active pl placebo control trial of sub-anesthetic intravenous infusion of ketamine to treat levodopa-induced dyskensia in subjects with Parkinson's disease. Assuming the phase two clinical trial is positive, the company will request a meeting with the FDA to discuss its plan and obtain an agreement to move to a phase three clinical study under the 505B2 regulatory pathway in 2022. Ketabit trademark for treatment-resistant depression. 
The company is preparing a pre-IND meeting request and briefing documents to submit to the FDA to support the clinical development of Ketabit trademark and the phase two study for treatment resistant depression. Company intends to file the pre-IND meeting request this month and obtain FDA feedback on its clinical study design and file the IND in Q3 2021. With the overlap with the clinical operations from the Parkinson's disease study, the company has already activated startup activities and identified potential clinic sites to screen and enroll patients for the proposed phase two study in Q3 and Q4 2021. The aim is to share clinical results by the end of this year, and the stock has been on fire. Following the company's recent submission to receive orphan drug designation for ketamine for treat ALS, the company is working with its clinic, clinical advisors in finalizing a proposed phase two study design. The objective is to request a pre-IND meeting with the FDA in Q3 2021 and submit the IND in Q4 2021. Pharmather has an exclusive license agreement with the University of Kansas for the intellectual property protecting and potential use of ketamine to treat ALS, which was discovered by Dr. Richard J. Barrow, MD, John A. Stanford, PhD, and Dr. Matthew Macaluso, D.O. Preclinical research has shown that the administration of ketamine preserves muscle function in advancing ALS and increases life expectancy when given the early stages of muscle decline. And muscle decline is a major issue for people when they get over the age of 50. Microneedle patch for the delivery of psychedelics. For the second half of 2021, Pharmather will focus on working with its research and development partners to advance next generation microneedle patches for the delivery of psychedelics. Hydrogel forming microneedle delivery system for ketamine. Pharmather is working with Professor Ryan Donnelly under a research agreement with the Queen's University of Belfast to finalize the patented hydrogel forming microneedle patch development to deliver ketamine and ketabet. The research leverages the successful proof of concept achieved in delivering esketamine, the S plus in a timoner of ketamine via the microneedle patch, which may overcome the drawbacks associated with ketamine administration in an intravenous or nasal spray format. Validation and tech transfer to support clinical studies will be completed in Q4 2021. Interim development results may be made available as they arise through 2021. Microdosing psychedelics with gel MA microneedle delivery system. The company is working with the Terasaki Institute led by Dr. Ali Kadam Hosni under a research agreement to finalize the development of a proprietary microneedle delivery system comprised of a biocompatible and biodegradable gelatin methacryloin gelma composite for use with psychedelics such as psilocybin, DMT, MDMA, and LSD. The gel MA patch delivery system is the driving force of the company's psychedelics microdosing program. It is expected that validation results in delivering these psychedelics will be completed in Q4 2021. Interim development results will be made available as they arise through 2021. So as you guys can see, PharmaThere is busy. My goodness, clinical manufacturing and supply. The company entered into a co-development agreement with TSRL Inc. to jointly develop a patented hydrogel forming microneedle patch delivery technology license from the Queen's University of Belfast to control the manufacturing and supply of microneedle patches for the company's respective clinical and commercial drug programs. PharmaThere is focused on incorporating psychedelics, i.e. ketamine, psilocybin, DMT, MDMA, and LSD, and TSRL and focused, is focused on incorporating antiviral medications, i.e. Xanamivir, other antiviral therapeutics and vaccines in a microneedle patch with the potential to improve the safety, i.e. fewer side effects, efficacy, bioavailability, optimized dosing regimen, including continuous system delivery and compliance. Example, storage, distribution, and self-administration of these compounds 
that currently must be taken orally, inhaled, injected, and intravenously. Recent activities included in the tech transfer for scale-up and manufacturing of clinical supplies to a GMP contract research lab and a pre-IND meeting with the FDA that achieved agreement with the agency on proposed 505B2 product development plans. The company aims to validate clinical production of the microneedle patch this year and to enter into clinical studies in 2022 to deliver certain psychedelics such as ketamine, psilocybin, DMT, MDMA, and LSD. About Pharmathera Holdings Limited, symbol PHRM in Canada, PHRRF on the OTCQB exchange, a clinical study psychedelics biotech company focused on the research, development, and commercialization of novel uses, formulations, and delivery methods of psychedelics to treat mental health, neurological, and pain disorders. Pharmathera is currently conducting an FDA-approved phase two clinical study with ketamine to treat Parkinson's disease and is developing a novel microneedle patch for the intra, intradermal delivery of psychedelics. You can follow them on Twitter. You can follow them on LinkedIn. The Twitter looks like this. This is their Twitter. You can see I'm already following. And not many people know about these guys yet. And you can follow them on LinkedIn. And you can see I am already following them on LinkedIn as well. So feel free to follow them there. And once again, their website, which I believe everyone should go to and be aware of, is pharmathere.com, a clinical stage psychedelics biotech company. You can find the investor's deck and everything you need to know about the company, their focus, recent press releases, all right on their website. Love to know what you guys think. They're absolutely on fire, up 200% since my last video about a month ago. They've been just ripping nonstop, as you can see, currently at 60 cents, up 20% on the day, and their volume has just been like you can see here, the average volume over the last three months is 433,000 shares. Today, 1.45 million and ripping up both in Canada and the United States. You can see Pharmathere is on fire. Love to know what you guys think. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Did you get into this rocket? Are you riding the rocket? Did you sell? Are you thinking about buying now? Are you looking for a dip? Let me know. Comment down below. Is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live? If you're not winning, you're not watching. We bring in the winners. We brought you Farmer there first, and we bring them to you first. Thank you guys for watching. Now, remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Always invest in the best. The best is blessed, and you absolutely deserve the best. You can see this trend clearly trending up. Trend is your friend, and this trend is clearly trending up. So, love to know what you guys think. Did you guys get on this rocket? It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out. Peace.